Hey everyone, I'm back after a long gap. So in today's tutorial, we will learn how to edit like Beth VFX. As you know, his editing style is in trending. So let's start the video. Okay, so first we will make a new composition and then we will generate some images from AI because in this style of editing, there's a lot of use of AI. So I have generated these images from AI. I will give a link in the description for that. Now I have imported my image. Now I will double click on this. So, and then we will select this tool, which is called this lasso tool. And we will trace, the, like trace the character like this. Just simply trace. And now go to this edit and press on this fill. And now content over fill, okay. So now you will see the background is removed. So we will export our background first. And now we will press Ctrl Z. And now we have to uh, like separate this background and we only want this character. So for that, we will go in this select and you can see the subject. Click on the subject and it will automatically like trace your clip so we will uh, remove this extra parts and now you can see this we will press this icon and boom you can see now we got our png so we will do the same method for every other uh, image so i'm not doing uh, again uh, because of tutorial so you can do it so now we will move to After Effects for the animation. Okay, so I have imported all my files. So first we will drag our background and then we will drag our image like this. And first we will make this a 3D and we will select this boy and scale it up and place it over here. And now uh, we will drag this background backward like this and we will scale it up so wait let me create a camera so right now you can see the gap between this background and this character so it makes feels like 3d so that's why i have moved the background backwards so it will feels like 3d so now we will make a null object okay and then we will link this camera to this null and make this null object 3d perfect and press p for position make a keyframe go few frames forward and we will scale this up like this and we will select this and we will select this character and we will move it out from the camera like this and now we will add some rotation so make a keyframe for z rotation press u and go a few frames forward and play this keyframe over here and at the starting the rotation will be minus 7 and select these two keyframes press f9 and go to the graph editor and follow my graph like copy my graph Okay, so now uh, we will go on this frame and we will drag our camera backward like this. Yeah, like this. And now we will select our background and we will scale it up like this. So when we will play the video, so it will look something like this. Uh, I think it's too fast. So we will move our keyframes. Perfect. We will rotate some more. Minus seven. Yeah, perfect. It will look something like this. Okay, so now we will tap a tag. So the tags will be, uh, I took this first step. So the lower tags will be in black italic and we will bring it to center perfect and now 
uh, we will add some glow and drop shadow for that we will use a drop shadow so i am using my preset and now we will search for deep glow and the radius will be 400 and exposure will be 0.4 like this perfect okay so now we'll add the text animation on that for that i am using the default text animation which is called slide which will be this slide down by character and we have to adjust the keyframe uh, we have to place it like when the camera when the camera rotation changes over here yes so when we will play the video so it looks something like this yes perfect but now we don't want to stop our animation and uh, if we want a seamless animation so we have to duplicate this null object and we will remove this keyframe and now we will link our null to to this new null object and we will change its name to the controller maybe three okay and now we will bring this null object over here like before this keyframe and over here so now we will go few frames forward and we will zoom out like this perfect select this keyframe press f9 open graph editor and copy my graph so it looks something like this yes it's too fast so you can see the animation is not stop over here it's looking like seamless now so you can see the animation so it's not stops and it looks like seamless now we will import our new image and we will use the same method which i have shown you in the starting of the video okay so i have imported my second image so we will place a background over here make it 3d and press control home to bring the uh, bring this image on this horizontal position we will scale it up perfect and now we will add our character png and we will also scale this up perfect and make this layer 3d also press control home okay so now we will play with some opacity like at this point the opacity will be 100 but at the beginning the opacity will be 0 now we will select these two layers and we will drag to right like over here and now we will select this background layer and move it to right because first we will want to like show our png and then the background will appear so we will play the video and first we will select these keyframes and press f9 now you can see this picture is like fully zoomed out then we will select this layer press s for scale and we will scale it up drag this down select the background and again scale it up now we will select the background and again we will wait now we'll select the background and again we will drag the background to the backwards and again zoom in so there's a gap between character and background so it will feels like 3d so now when i play the video 
so it's look something like this i know it's too fast we will extend the keyframe so it looks something like this extend my keyframes as you have to play with keyframes and graphs um adjust our background over here perfect okay so now we will add a text animation so our text will be i learned the skill so this upper text will be slightly bigger than the lower text yeah like this and align it to center and we will add a same drop shadow and we will copy the deep glow from this text and paste into this text perfect now we will add an animation um i am using this this blur text animation which is after effect like built in preset so just simply click on this and drag this keyframe and um, like adjust this keyframe according to the video so like i want the text starting animating from here like when this video like when this clips zooms out so that text is animating like this okay so now we will make this layer 3d press control home and align it to here perfect so now you can see the animation it's too fast the text animation is too fast and we will drag this keyframe also okay so perfect it's look good and now we will duplicate this uh, null object delete this keyframe and go a few frames forward now we will link this null to this and we will zoom in like this and here we will scale it down this picture like this and over here we will select this picture and scale it little bit and we will drag it down select this text drag this down perfect so it looks something like this And now we will select these two keyframes and we will add graph so copy my graph this time it will be this graph so now we will preview the video yeah i know it's too fast so we will drag a keyframe backward okay so now we will preview it again perfect so now we will add a text again the text will be of video editing now we will align this text in the center and scale this down and we will select this video editing text and we will 
slide it little bit down now we will again copy the same drop shadow and deep low and paste into this text drop shadow will be underneath this deep low again make this layer 3d press ctrl home place it over here i think we have to little bit zoom out like this and over here we will decrease the opacity of the text oh sorry wrong text so we will decrease the opacity of this text okay perfect so now we select this text we will scale it up and now we will add a text animation in it so for that i am using again animation composer and i will use this um, i will use overshoot position and this one top one and just simply adjust it like this perfect okay so it looks something like this um i think it's too fast the animation of text is too fast so we'll preview it again yeah like this yeah, it's pretty cool. Perfect. Now we will add uh, the Instagram logo like you have seen in his reel. Okay, for that I have created this animated Instagram logo. Uh, I will give a link in the description for that. Okay, so we will uh, drag this composition to and we will search for fill and we will add a fill and change its color to blue change the color to blue and search for deep blue and add the deep blue on this and now drag this layer and we will put behind the character make this layer cd press ctrl home um, we will drag this down Sim and scale it down a little bit and now we will adjust the animation like when the text appears over here and the animation should start over here yes so it looks something like this perfect yeah it's looking clean and smooth so you can see this is the first part of the video yeah